Afternoon, Mikel. Happy North London Derby week. It's busier than usual, isn't it? How are these weeks for you and how big a game do you feel this is on Sunday? You could be 14 points clear of Spurs by the end of Sunday. I just love it. That's the reason why we are here to play these kind of games. Um, it's one of the biggest games of the season for us. Um, we know how much it means right now for us um, on the table and uh, how much it means to our people as well. But uh, we just have to focus on, on playing well and, and doing what we have to to win the game. Cost you back to May in that 3-0 defeat. How much does that kind of linger and drive you as a motivation? And, and also, how much better equipped do you feel you are less than a year old? That was the result, that was the performance, that was the context of actually what happened on, on that game. It's a lot of things to learn from. Um, a lot of things to take from there and uh, we haven't won there so um, that's the challenge that we have ahead of us. And how much better as a side do you feel you are from there handling an occasion like that? We are in a different place but we will have to show that um, playing the way we want to play. Second time in a week that your players have been charged by the FA, the third time this season. How concerned are you by the spotlight now being on yourself? And I prefer not to comment on that. I haven't finished my question. Sorry? I haven't quite finished my question yet. Will okay. I haven't finished my answer either. <laughs> that in mind, are you going to have to err on the side of caution on Sunday? Sorry, can you repeat the last part of your question? <laughs> Given the spotlight on your side's behaviour over the last few weeks, are you going to have to urge on the side of caution on Sunday? I prefer not to comment on that. Will you be having a conversation with your players about just staying the right side of the line or maybe two bits for the right side of the line? Anything that we can do to improve, we'll always have um, conversation with our players, with the staff and as a club as well to, to see what we can do better. We have to change any, any behaviour. And it wouldn't be a Friday if I didn't ask you about a certain Mudrick. I wondered if you followed him on Instagram and you've been enjoying his social media posts. Can I answer now? Yeah. <laughs> I finished my question now. Um, you know, we cannot talk about any other player. There are some interests uh, on things that we would like to do to improve the team, obviously, because we are a bit um, short in certain areas and with the injuries that we picked. But um, we are trying. And as a club, we are determined to try to improve the team in every window. And that's what we are trying to do. You've missed some good posts. I'm sure you've been filled in. I mean, he, he looked very happy in his Arsenal shirt on social media this morning. I will tell you how good I am with the phone, so. <laughs> and just finally for me, um, Jay-Zeus and Emil Smith-Rowe. So first of all, Jay-Zeus, is there any update that you can report? Where well, is he? How is he? The update is that he's, um, he's progressing really well. He's working really hard. Um, he's in the right... Uh, place in his recovery regarding to the time that that we set for him but um but it's still a bit far to be fair a bit far yeah. but you would hope to see him back towards the end of the season at least i would like to see him very quickly but i don't think that's going to happen so we're going to have to be patient with that one and um, and let's see it's a complicated surgery when there is surgery there is always um a lot of things that you have to be very cautious especially the first few weeks he's a player that's going to push everybody there to be really fast on the pitch, but, uh, but we have to be cautious as well. Just find him Will Smith Ray, because obviously he came back. Great to have him back. Great to have him back. He felt good. He was obviously his first minute after four months. Uh, he's worked so hard to win the position he's today. And now we need to give him minutes and we need to get him involved in, in the team because he's a, a very important player for us. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hi, Michael. Hi. You played in nine North London derbies. What are your memories of playing in fixture? Uh, emotional, uh, very passionate, um, incredible feeling when you are on that pitch and uh, and just look around and feel the support and um, the tension and the atmosphere around it. And yeah, when you win, it doesn't get much better than that. And you did win against Tottenham earlier in the season. Yeah. How would you compare the feeling going into this North London derby? compared to that one. Is there a lot more pressure this time? That's the challenge that we have, that we have to beat them now um, at their place. And, um, and that's the way we have prepared the game. Hasn't been a great return for Tottenham after the World Cup break. 
What are you expecting from them at home? I don't know. Sometimes they approach games in different ways. Sometimes they are very aggressive from the beginning. Sometimes um, they allow you to make the game and, and they have um, a lot of tools to use uh, to cause you problems. So let's see. We have to start to see what the game develops. We'll prepare for for any occasion the best possible way and then it will be um, left to the players to, <laughs> to, to do what they have to do on the pitch. Thank you. Thank you. Mikhail, when you played Tottenham last time, people were still learning about the new Arsenal team and whether you were going to be title challengers. Do you feel you come into this North London derby in kind of a stronger position reputationally? You proved so much more in the, in the intervening period. I don't know. Obviously, the way we have performed and the results that we got, um, confidence-wise, put us in a in a good position. But then it's something that you have to show every single match and every opponent, and especially every away game, brings um, big challenges. And and this is not different. That we're gonna have to prove that uh, that we are good enough to to go there, play our way, and win the match. Do you prepare the team differently if it's North London derby away from home? At home specifically, kind of in. You know whether or not you are the kind of team that are going to make the running. Does that does that approach vary, or are you now in such a strong position that you just send your team out to win every game? We prepare every game differently because every game uh, brings um, challenges and opportunities for sure. Um, and every game uh, teams are in different moments, and uh, and we cannot approach every game in the same way. Obviously, we have a way of playing, but within that, uh, we talk and discuss different things in relation to the opponent that we face. And can you? on days like Sunday, kind of appreciate the drama of it, uh, because everyone else is going to really look forward to it as a, as a tremendous occasion, but because you're so involved, mm. will there be a moment on Sunday where you can sort of revel in, in the occasion, or are you always focused? In the preparation, probably not, because we are so focused in what we do, and we just want to put attention and, and the detail into that. Once you are there, obviously, uh, you realise uh, the moment, and um, and it's in my opinion, one of the best things to do to actually realize how lucky we are to be um, in in the position that we are in and, and and having the possibility to affect the game. And have you spoken to the players about the kind of cauldron atmosphere? Because th there will be a cauldron atmosphere and people will be focused on your team. Have you, have you had to say just make sure you don't get drawn into anything on the pitch? With the, with we prepare every game in a different way and, um, and we talked about things that, in our opinion, are relevant um, for the, the way that the game can develop. But that came up, did it? Sorry? Did that come up? That's things that we discuss every week. Hi, Mikel. Um, you look at when teams last played towards the end of last season at, the, at Spurs Stadium, both competing for the Champions League places. This time around, contrasting fortunes at both teams, Arsenal at the top of the table, Spurs sort of fighting for fifth or sixth place. What sort of message do you think this would send, to not just to Spurs, but also to your title challenges? if you are able to claim all three points on, on Sunday? I don't know. It's, we don't think about sending Messi. We think about performing and, and playing well and, and earning the right to win the game. And that's what we have to do. And the best way to to do it is, is focusing on that. The rest we cannot we cannot control. I don't know the perception of the rest on, on us, the way they analyse us. Um, I don't know. We have to focus on, on what we can do. There's lots of noise in the media about how Arsenal favourites for the title this year now. How do you go about taking the pressure off the players and letting them play with the same sort of freedom that we've seen in, in the first half of the season? We just face the, the challenge and the opportunity ahead of us and uh, and we know where we are. At Arsenal, you don't expect anything that is not winning football matches every three days. And that's the demand that we have as a club and everybody individually and every member of the staff knows that, that the challenge is weekly or daily uh, to be better and, and to win the game. It doesn't matter who you play against. And Bukayo Saka, will he, will he be OK for this weekend? I think he will be OK. And, and on players like Bukayo Saka, Jesse Marsh said yesterday in his press conference lastly that you know attacking players should be protected more by referees. Is that something that you agree with, considering the way that teams have dealt with the likes of Bukayo and, and your front players this season? It's something that we discuss many, many times, and I think uh, the referees have the duty to protect the game in general, and they do their best uh, to try to do that. Thank you. Thank you. Mark. Mark I think most people in this room would agree that most Premier League games we watch now, or any football game, if you see a decision go against some players, they will crowd around the referee. So does it surprise you that Arsenal could charge with what happened at Oxford? 
I prefer not to comment on, on that aspect, really. Um, you go back to Spurs, where obviously we lost, you lost 3 0 last year. And that's your week, I'm very sorry. But you were afterwards, um, Antonio Conte questioned you a little bit in the way you, you he said you've complained during the game. Do you, do you think you've changed as a manager since then in, in being able to deal with the things that go against your team? I don't know. I try to be myself all the time, try to be honest, and um, and what other people have to say, or obviously they're entitled to have an opinion, like I have my own opinion. And, and just finally, not just for Arsenal, but for a lot of other teams going into the next two or three weeks, there's a lot of the top teams playing against each other. So for you and for the other teams that have got tight ambitions, do you think this could be quite a de decisive time of the season? In this league, every every week is is so challenging and so difficult, and you see it every week when you don't expect certain results, and actually happens. So looking too far in the calendar or making games more difficult than others really it doesn't it doesn't work in this league no more. I think. Mikel, game by game is a phrase we hear you and your players saying over the course of the season so far. Game by game, focus on the next game. As you keep winning games, are you having to change your approach to keep the players on the ground? I have changed it. Now it's train by train, training by training. <laughs> Instead of the games, it's the next training session. So the next training session. So the yeah, the training. <laughs> tomorrow training session. Review today and tra tomorrow train better. So when it comes to the pressure, the players aren't feeling any pressure right now. Sorry? The players aren't feeling any kind of pressure right now. I think the players are in a really good emotional state. That They are excited, um, they are enjoying playing together. And, uh, and obviously we are in a good position, so we have to now improve a lot of things that we still have to do and maintain a lot of the good things that have taken us uh, this far. Okay, that one last one, Charles. Sorry, Mikael, just on um, the record Arsenal have got at the new Spurs stadium, you, you, <coughs> done it earlier, you haven't won there. If you could go there and get that win uh, this weekend, just sort of mentally, it would be another big obstacle that this team has, has got past this season, wouldn't it? How, how key would that be going forward? Well, we had a few in the last few years. There were places that we haven't won in 15, 17, 20 years. Um, so well, we would like to do all in once. <laughs> we haven't been able to do that. So we have a great um, challenge and opportunity on Sunday um, to get that one done.